Hey, good morning, New Hope. Great to be with you again this morning. My name is Eric. Uh, glad to be with you for your daily hope today. Uh, some more wisdom for the day from, from God's Word. So today we're in uh, Proverbs 15, and I'm just going to point out a couple of verses, right? So when I read the Bible, sometimes I'll read a section just like reading the whole proverb, and a couple of the verses will stand out. And then you can reflect and, and pay attention, meditate on those, you know, whatever stands out. Sometimes that's helpful because you read it all at once. It's too much, but just pick out one and spend some time. But the two I'm going to read are uh, the first verse and the fourth verse. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. A gentle tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. Right away, my mind went to, uh, you know, maybe a lot, of this happens a lot. Uh, I don't think it does with me, but one time I remember particularly driving and I had changed lanes without looking in my rear view mirror. I think maybe we've all done that, but it didn't make the guy behind me very happy. And when I did look back, I just saw, you know, the arms uh, and the yelling and I just felt, I felt pretty bad. And, you know, I think it was the grace of God that kept me calm because he rolled up next to me and he was looking at me, yelling at me. And I stopped and I rolled down my window and I apologized. And instantly his face changed. And it was like, just because I decided to respond with a gentle answer, with an apology, uh, it changed his, his, uh, you know, his day probably or the next at least 20 minutes he wasn't angry he was he was uh, he realized that I had made a mistake and I had apologized and everything was great and um, and I know that uh, you know Jesus Jesus uh, helps us in those times you know Jesus is probably a great driver you know if you if, if he would have driven I guess I don't know if he if that's coming or what but anyway uh, just this idea of a gentle answer can, can change someone's day. It happens in parenting too, you know, how you respond to your kids can change how it goes. And I just want to encourage you today with uh, trying to put that in place in your life. Try to give gentle answers. Try to give, um, uh, you know, not harsh responses, but, you know, you know, be thinking how you can be wise in those conversations because it does change people's day. It does change people's lives uh, when, we, when we live different in a world that can be angered and broken and it brings healing and it brings new life. So help us, Lord. Let's pray. Help us, Lord, to, to put this into practice today, uh, to put your, uh, your Holy Spirit, let your Holy Spirit help us as we respond uh, to the world around us. Um, help us to give gentle answers. Help us to be thoughtful in how we respond. And I pray that for everyone listening today. And I pray in the power of Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Be encouraged and welcome.